Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, Gabriel Aldort with Yamaha. It's always a pleasure to be back at Kraft Music and work with this incredible dealership. Now, the PSR SX900 follows in a long legacy of Yamaha PSR keyboards. And let me tell you, we have taken things to the next level. There's a lot of firsts in a PSR. First off, 7-inch color touchscreen. That's right. For the first time ever, we have put a color touchscreen on a PSR keyboard. Also, we've upgraded the action. It has the FSB action. It's a buttery smooth action. We've replaced the wheels with an XY joystick. 1,337 instrument voices. This is up from around 1100 from the previous model. And we have 525 styles. That's up from 400. Three different right hand parts so you can layer to your heart's content. We've got Chord Looper, which is an incredible new feature which allows you to loop chords in the style section. Get your hands off the keyboard so you can focus on playing up in the upper register. Eight insert effect slots you guys now the insert effects are the juiciest most delicious effects and this is beyond the standard reverb and chorus we're talking about great compression and wahs and distortion all sorts of amazing effects here for you one gigabyte of flash memory very nice and four gigabytes of voice memory this is un precedented for us in a PSR because the previous PSR only had 766 megabytes. The speaker system, we've taken it to a whole new level. Four individual speakers, bi-amps, expansive sound field speaker system. And what this is essentially is that depending on if you're sitting at the keyboard, if you have some people hanging out, you're doing a little sing-along, it sounds just the same to them on the other side as it does to you. This is a first for Yamaha. It's incredible. A brand new playlist feature, which enables you to create set lists, or as we call them, playlists. It's very flexible. And two USB to device ports. This really comes in handy. So these are some quick features New features on the SX900. Let's get into it. I can't wait. So here we are in front of the PSR SX900. Now, what is the most important part of any Yamaha keyboard? Well, that would be the instrument voices. And the PSR SX900 has got you covered. Now, what's your go-to instrument voice? Piano, of course. So this has, as you would expect, a phenomenal concert grand piano. And not only that, we've got some great pop grands, right? Pianos that really bite through. Rock pianos, right? Upright pianos. Uh, and if you like roads, mm, some delicious roads in here. Mm -hmm. 
CP80. This is an iconic classic keyboard. And no Yamaha keyboard would be complete without the iconic DX7 Rhodes. Ah, just buttery smooth. Now, I love that there's a lot of buttons on this keyboard, and the voice section is no exception because a button is always going to be there for you. You know, I can lean on the screen. I can select all my voices using the new color touchscreen, but you know what? There's just something comforting about having a button. It's right there for you. So let's go down the line. Pianos and electric pianos, organs, guitars, accordions, strings, brass, woodwind, choir and pad, bass, synth, percussion and drums, and then your expansion and user bank. So this is great, a quick way to access a voice category. So if I wanna check out some organs, boom. I just go into the organ category. On the screen, I see all my organs. And in this particular case, there are over five pages of organs. Here's a beautiful whiter bars sound. Now, you know what? Wouldn't it be great to connect an expression pedal or a volume pedal to this keyboard to be able to use it when you're playing organ? Because organs don't have velocity sensitivity. That's why every organ you see played uses a volume pedal. Great for expression. Well, it just so happens that I can connect an expression pedal, in this case, a Yamaha FC7, to the PSR SX900 and use it to control organ. Now, right now, my volume pedal or my FC7 Yamaha expression pedal is not working for volume. I wonder why that is. Well, this is a great real world scenario to assign it to do whatever I want. And the PSR SX900 makes it super easy with the direct access button. So to assign a controller, whether it's a pedal or a knob, on the PSR SX900, it's as simple as holding down direct access and pressing the controller. In this case, the FC7. Boom. My assignable screen comes up, and I can see that foot pedal 1 is assigned to sustain. Perfect. Foot pedal 2 is articulation 1. I just go in here, select volume, and... Perfect. Okay, now we can get out of here. And I'm going to show you one of the coolest things in the organ category. If you go to the organs that say organ flutes, I'm going to pick jazz standard, and I exit back to the home screen, you'll see that under the voice section, organ flutes jazz standard, for my right one part, there's a little icon there with some draw bars. If I hit that, voila. I have my draw bars, and this is great because I can control them just as I would on a B3 organ. Pretty cool, right? Moving on on our instrument voice tour, let's check out the guitar category. Now, I'm going to show you a very cool little icon. It's probably one of my favorites on the PSR SX900, and that is the demo icon. So there's a built-in demo for literally every instrument voice in this keyboard. So if I'm not a particularly awesome player, but I really want to get the spirit and the caliber of the sound or voice, I can just hit that demo button. So I've selected concert guitar. Let's give a listen. That's awesome. Let's try another guitar. How about uh, 
steel guitar. Now, oh, you hear that little tap of the body? That's called an articulation. And you can trigger those articulations with the super articulation voices, and they reside in the PSR SX900. Also in the guitar categories, you can see we have pages and pages of guitars. We've got electric guitars. Awesome. Ooh, one of my personal favorites, the flamenco guitar. Awesome. Very realistic and very pure and rich, just like most of the instrument voices in the PSR SX900. I could go on all day with the guitars, but for time purposes, we're going to move on. In the accordion section, that's where you're going to find the harmonicas. Let's check out this blues harp. Okay, cool. Pretty authentic right there. Okay, moving on. The string section. Wow, there are some phenomenal strings in here. Let's check out Seattle strings. And you know what? I'm not going to lean on the demo button. I'm actually going to play. Now, I don't know if you caught this, but I'm using my FC7 expression pedal now to control volume. And this is great for strings because you can really control that expression. Okay, let's do, uh, well, ooh, pizzicato strings. I love these. Awesome. Okay, moving on. And once again, there are way more strings that I didn't get to, but... You can dive into those when you get your PSR SX900. Okay, so brass. Oh, awesome. Trumpet. Awesome. Okay, <laughs> that's a great trumpet. We've got, uh, oh, cool trombones. Excuse me. Awesome. Mute trumpet's always one of my favorites. Okay, so a lot of great brass. Oh, we can't go over brass without checking out some brass sections, right? How about pop horns? Very, very nice. Okay, moving on. Woodwinds. Ah, oh, beautiful saxophone. Let's lean on the demo icon again. very much. Beautiful saxophone sound. Did you hear that breath in the beginning? Let's do it one more time. That wasn't me. That was an articulation. This is one of the many articulations that add that extra bit of realism to capture what it would be like for a human to be playing this instrument. One of the benefits of being a keyboard player, by the way, is that you can play almost any instrument, but learning how to harness the actual power of how a human would play that instrument is an ongoing journey for a keyboard player. That being said, let's move on. Check out maybe this growly sax. Thank you very much. Okay, very nice. Uh, sax sections. We've got mellow saxes. I mean, the list just goes on and on and on. Oh, some beautiful flutes. Okay, I just want to stay in here, but we have to move on. Choirs and pads. Oh, I love jazz scat vocals. So choirs and pads. Ooh, this is where you're going to find all those juicy synth pads, right? what 
the demo would do to that. Okay. How about one more pad? 80s ballad pad. It's very 80s-esque, if I do say so myself. Okay, moving on. Basses, you got to love them. Ooh, let's go right to the acoustic one. Oh, slap bass. Let's see what the PSR can do for us. Very nice. So, acoustic basses, electric basses, jazz basses, synth basses, they're all in there for you. Oh, and this is the dedicated synth category. So all your synth needs are going to be covered in here. Let's do the first one, 80s unison fifth. Okay. Awesome. All right. What about one more? 80s take me out. I wonder what that is. Awesome. Okay. Sounds like a take on a very popular song with the word take in it. Okay. Percussion and drums. Vibraphones. Ah, what is that? Thank you so much. Rock drum kit. Oh, the drum kits in here are amazing. Now, they're laid out on all the keys, and playing a drum kit on a keyboard is kind of an art form. But once you figure out where each drum is, it's actually quite easy. Hi-hats, right? Kick drum. Introducing some of the most awesomest drum kits ever. All right. All right, you get the idea. You know, let's do the jazz brush kit and see what that demo button has to say. Wow. And I tell you, the clarity of these drum kits is unbelievable for a PSR. Unbelievable. And then last but not least, the expansion user bank. And we have tons of additional content for the PSR SX900 or the PSR series in general where you can buy additional expansion packs, whether you like uh, mariachi music or Greek music or Japanese, you can load those specific expansion packs in here. And with the generous one gigabyte flash memory that we've enhanced, you can put even a couple expansion packs in there, and that's where you would access them. Now, having just gone over the voice section in the different categories, this would be a perfect time to talk about the part select section of voice mode. So right below the voice categories is this section. And this is where you not only select which instrument voices of which you have three different right hand parts, but you select where you want to change those voices. And keep in mind that this system has been on PSRs for a long time. So if you pay attention, you will discover not only how to navigate the PSR SX900 voice section, but previous generations of PSRs as well. So right here, we have our left part and 
are write one, write two, and write three. Now, as I mentioned, when I opened up this segment, we added another right-hand part from previous generations. So now you have up to three right-hand parts. This button right here turns the voices on and off. So if you'll notice, there are no lights on the upper section of right one, right two, and right three. Hence, I don't hear anything. If I engage the right one button now, we hear it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to piano, okay? And you'll see right one. Now, let's say I want to layer piano and strings. On a PSR SX900, it is a breeze because you have a button for each voice. So right now, I have Seattle strings assigned to the right two part. So if I just turn on right two, I hear piano and strings together. Awesome. And if I want to add yet another layer, I can turn on right three, and it'll bring in that steel acoustic guitar. So now... Very nice. Now, right above that, that's the voice selection buttons. So, if I turn off right three and right two, and I want to change the right one instrument voice, now, once again, you can always lean on the screen. I could literally reach up and hit that and go right into the voice section. But I can also lean on that button. Right one, I select that, and it takes me right into that same menu screen. So, that's a quick way to understand how to enable and disable voices and select them. All right, now I'm going to go back into the synth section and talk about the live control knobs, of which there are two on the PSR SX900. Now, the great thing about these knobs is that you can use them in real time to control different aspects of a voice. In this case, let's say I go back into the synth section, 80s, Rezo Perk Synth. So, but if I touch the live control knob one, it controls the filter. And I love that the screen comes up and actually shows you what's going on. And the second one is reverb. If I want to drown in reverb, there we go. Get your life preserver on. And there are also three different pages of assignable functions for the live control knobs. So a lot of flexibility. And do you remember how to access or assign what you put on those knobs? Direct access, I just hold down the direct access button and touch a knob. It takes me right to the live control assignable screen and then I can select anything but filter. Tons of categories, tons of functions, super quick, super easy. And that's the live control knobs. Now let's dive into the style section of the PSR SX900 and the style engine in this keyboard is quite formidable. Actually, the style engine and the style control section are integral in almost every PSR keyboard and one of the most powerful features for not only playing as a one-man band type of situation, but for songwriters. I definitely want to stress 
that this is a phenomenal instrument for songwriters. Because think about it. You've got all these templates in here, which are the styles, whether it's jazz or pop or rock or country. Let's say a client asks you, hey, can you write me like a country song? You've already got all the great framework in order to create that song. It's so great for fueling possibility and musical imagination. So that being said, let's go into the style section. And once again, we've got some great dedicated buttons right here in the style section. Not to say that I can't use the on screen to go in there, but I'm gonna use a button. Pop and rock, we got some great pop and rock styles. So let's just go to the first one, Sky Pop. I'm all set up. I have sync start enabled, which means I don't have to reach up and press start. I can just play the keyboard and the style will start. In addition, under the style control section, we have a lot of real time control. Three different intros, four different main variation parts, which represent the different parts of most songs, the A section, the B section, which is maybe a bridge, the C section is the chorus, and the D, and they, they get progressively busier as you go along. And there's a break button, which is essentially a fill. Speaking of fills, anytime you hit A, B, C, or D, you get a fill as well. And I'm using the auto fill in button, which gives me a handy dandy auto fill, and then three separate ending buttons. So now that we have the style Sky Pop selected, Synchro Start is on, intro two, all I have to do is just play a chord. All right, let's pick another genre and another style. How about dance? Cool. Oh, this reminds me. There are some really, really cool 80s retro styles in here. And a lot of the styles that reside within the PSR SX900 are based on actual hit songs. And you'll probably recognize some of them. And a little hint for you, intro two is usually going to give you a nice, tasty intro that'll sound somewhat familiar. So let's try 80s monster hit, intro two. Here we go. Kind of a name that tune of, uh, of style playing. So those are some juicy selections in the dance category. Now we've got R&B, we've got jazz, Latin, ballroom, movie, and show. You know what? Let's do a movie and show. Hmm, movie soundtrack. I wonder what that is. All right. Wow. wow. The sound quality of this thing is phenomenal. And the fact that you can take literally almost any genre of music and control that song control the way it moves, whether you want intro two and then go to main variation D and then go to ending two or go right back into the song. The flexibility with the style engine and style control is just off the charts. Now I'd like to touch on some of the fingering modes that exist within the PSR 
SX900 that are integral in using the style control engine. Now, to get to the fingering modes, you simply press the menu button, okay? Now, within menu one, of which there are two menus, you select split and fingering, okay? Now, in the lower right-hand corner, you will see the fingering type, and it is set to AI fingered. This is artificial intelligence fingering mode. This is the mode I use all the time because it is not only the simplest fingering mode, it is also the most elaborate in terms of the chords that you can reproduce using only a couple of fingers. Let me explain. So when I select a style, and in this case, it's big band swing. Now, I'm going to start the style, and it's important to note that with AI fingered, I can play a triad, that's a three-note chord, the root, the third, and the fifth, using only two fingers. Now, all I have to do is play the root and the third, and I get the triad. G, C, D. Cool. Now, we're going to take it one step further because by adding a third note, and that's a whole step below the root, I can get a seventh, all right? So I'm going to play the root and the third, G and B, and then I'm going to add the F, and it's going to play a G7. Let's try the same thing with C. D. You got to love that ending, right? Now, also, using AI fingered, I can play three-fingered chords to get elaborate jazz chords. Here's an example. If I want to play a C7-9 chord, all I have to do with AI fingered is play E, B flat, and D, and I will get that C7-9 chord. This is a very similar voicing if I was a jazz piano player playing with a bass player, but the bass player in this case resides within the PSR SX900 style section. So check this out. C7-9. A great way to really expand your mind around how to play chordal voicings. And AI fingered, like I said, it's the simplest fingering mode and it's also the most advanced. You're gonna have a lot of fun digging into this mode. All right, now this next feature I'm really excited about, and it's brand new to the PSR SX900, <clears throat> or any PSR for that matter. It's called Chord Looper, and what it allows you to do is loop a chord section within the style engine. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So essentially, if I hit the menu button, I go into Chord Looper, all right? Now, like I mentioned before, you use chordal input to tell the style engine what to play. So when I play a C7-9, the band is playing C7-9. But imagine if you could loop chord changes 
and then not have to worry about playing them, which would free you up to play with both hands. Well, that's what Chord Looper can do. And that's just one example of what you can do with Chord Looper. And let me show you how quick and easy it is to create a chord loop. Here we go. So right here on the front panel, we have some dedicated buttons. First thing I'm going to do is hit record and play a progression, and then I'm going to loop it. Here we go. Now, loop. Memory and select a position. Now, I'm going to record another chord progression and put it in section two. Record. Memory. That is core looping. It's quick and it's easy. You can do up to eight sections. You can even export your chord progressions. Core looper, you saw it here first. Now, a lot of people ask, what are registrations? Because PSR SX900, as well as a number of other Yamaha PSR keyboards through the ages, have registration memories. And there are, in this case, eight of them. Now, what a registration memory is, is essentially a snapshot of all the settings of the keyboard. So let's say, a basic example, let's say that I like this suitcase phaser, right? And I just want to save that so I can hit this button and go right to that sound. Memory, registration one, okay? And right here, whenever I hit registration memory one, I'm always going to have suitcase phaser. Now, that's a super basic example. Now, a more elaborate example of using a registration memory would be this, selecting a style. Let's say uh, R&B, Mr. Soul. Now, I want to change the tempo. I want the tempo to be at 110. I want it to start on intro two, make sure accompaniment is selected, then have it go into the B section. I want sync start on. I have all these preferences that I've selected. Registration memory. Memory number two. It's going to save all those selections. So a registration can be as simple as just remembering one instrument voice. Ooh, I love that violin. I always want it to be right here or it can be a snapshot of a number of different settings. It's really a very brilliant save function. And that just is a little taste of registration memories. Now, you know I love talking about brand new features, first time ever features, and the PSR SX900 has one of those features. It is the ESS, Expansive Sound Field Sound System. This is a first, and the speakers that reside in here have a completely new and redesigned woofer system where the woofer is not just round, it actually is kind of bifurcated, segmented in the middle. Now, what is the purpose of this design? Well, sitting in front of this keyboard, it sounds amazing because we make the speaker system fire in a way that sounds good to the player. Of course we do, because the artist is always going to be sitting in front of it. But with this new ESS system, if you have a crowd of people around your keyboard, let's say you're doing a, a sing-along, this keyboard will sound just as good to them as it does to you. And we've never done this with a keyboard before, but 
the PSR SX900 is forging new ground with the expansive sound field system. Now, it's also important to note that the PSR SX900 has a microphone input because it has the Vocal Harmony 2 engine. This enables you to do a duet, a trio, a quartet, or a four-part harmony. Not only that, you can modify your voice. Sound like the chipmunk, sound like a robot, sound like a male, sound like a female, sound like something in between. A lot of flexibility. Just keep in mind that if you want to flex the horsepower of the microphone input, PSR SX900 has got you covered. Just a few more things that we didn't cover. Six assignable buttons. These are great. You can assign them to have access to whatever you want. And also the menu bar at the bottom of the touch screen. That's assignable as well. So you really can customize your user experience. And a 16-track sequencer. As I mentioned earlier, this is an amazing tool for songwriters. And having a powerful 16-track sequencer is a must for a keyboard like this. And last but not least, wireless Bluetooth audio. So you can pair your smart device and play your music wirelessly through the incredible ESS, expansive sound field speaker system on the PSR SX900. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming with me on this tour of the Yamaha PSR SX900. Seven inch color touchscreen, over a thousand instrument voices, over 500 styles, cord looper, wireless Bluetooth audio, expansive sound field speaker system, vocal harmonies, 16 track sequencer, and so much more. I'm Gabriel Aldort. Always a pleasure to be here at Craft Music. And if you have any additional questions, contact a Craft Music sales advisor. And don't forget to practice. One, two, three, four.